Hi, once again, this is Ed from Exotic Blanks, welcoming you to another video. This one is Making the Perfect Fit Pen, Part 2. Part 1 of this was done over a year ago, and I forgot completely about it. A couple of people have told me that I never finished it, and so we're going to finally get around to finishing it. Uh, the Perfect Fit is not a difficult pen, but it is a little demanding. You have to get the uh, top correct, otherwise things don't fit together right and it doesn't operate properly. So we start out here seeing the um, bottom, the body of the pen being turned. Uh, the body of the pen is relatively simple. We drilled it with an O or an 8 millimeter bit, uh, and then we uh, put a brass tube in it, obviously and allowed it to cure over a couple of days. What I'm using here is Alternate Briar. It's one of my favorite uh, pens, but it's been a long time since I've turned it, so it was kind of fun just to get back to turning something that has a little bit of challenge to it. This is not the easiest material in the world. Uh, it's not real difficult, but if you start getting ribbons off, everything is cool. Uh, just pay attention to what you're doing. So. Uh, this is the alternate briar, and as you can see, it is coming off in ribbons, but I'm pretty careful. Uh, the body of the um, Perfect Fit is just sloped from top to bottom, so there's nothing special about the way this is done. Um, that's what you're watching at this point. The turning is done, and so now we go into sanding the uh, blank. Uh, first of all, I start with 400 grit. Uh, for those of you who have watched before know that I use a one inch wide 400 and an inch and a half wide 600 so that I don't get them confused. So this is the 400 grit. Uh, we sand a little bit there um, and then move into the 600 grit and sand a little bit with that. I'm going to take it to the buffer and it's actually going to get buffed, which is um, what really gives it a shine. So this is just to make sure everything is flat and uh, make sure that it looks nice going in. But the real real work is done on the buffer with uh, Triple E um, and then White Diamond, and that's what makes it actually turn into a real good shiny pen. You'll see the pen later. Um, it's it, it turned out to be a nice looking nice looking pen. That's the end of the uh, body. The body is ready to uh, take over and buff. Now we're going to move into the cap or the clip end of the pen and that's where some of the more interesting um, dimensions are important in this particular part of the pen. Uh, so we'll get into that now. This is one of those times when I um, want to emphasize that I only turn one half of the pen at a time. Uh, that keeps me on a mandrel that is about three inches long, so there's not as much flex in it, and it's not as likely to be um, to be bent so that you end up with a crooked um, cut. So in this case particularly, that cut at the uh, center band is going to be very obvious if it is not round. So I do recommend that you uh, do whatever you have to do to your lathe in order to make sure that it's running true. But the pieces that are on there right now, <clears throat> that's the cap piece or the clip piece from the Perfect Fit, and then the um, 47A bushings, which is um, the fat one is on the left as you look at it, and the thin one is on the right. So the uh, the cap is actually, um, center band is in the middle in this case. And I have sped up the video some, so if you look at it and say, boy, you're turning fast, I'm actually not. Um, and I am taking very thin cuts, but again, that's alternate briar. Is I have respect for the material. And now, for the exciting conclusion to our program, uh, we actually are going to make the top of the uh, perfect fit. The first thing that you need to know is that you would like the dimension to be one point one and seven eighths inches which is one point eight seven five inches that's how much material you want left you're cutting off or you're going to cut down to the brass tube right where the center band is going to go so I'm marking the blank at one point eight seven five so that you can see where the center band is going to be where you're going to cut off the material. 
I will make a mark with a skew and then stop the lathe and check to make sure that that mark is pretty close to the mark that I had put on with my 1.875. Once I'm comfortable with where the amount should be taken off, I start with a parting tool and part right down to the brass tube. Um, and I'll do that relatively quickly, but that doesn't take an awful lot of science. It's just a matter of taking it down to the tube. What you do want to be careful to do, if you can, try to cut that material slightly inset. That is to say, so that there's more material on the outside edge than there is right next to the tube. You want to be able to put that... Um, center band piece on there and glue it on and it would be nice if there was some place for the glue to go which would be up the tube but not come spewing out when you push everything together so you'd like to have a little room in there for glue that's uh, a little tricky and you develop that after you've turned for a while but if you can turn it in with a slight um, inset to it that's a good idea as you'll see here, I do an awful lot of measuring, uh, and I try to show you the um, measurement on the caliper, uh, and not always so successfully. So if you look at this, what we're trying to do is get to 1 and 7 eighths inches, and long and short of it is eventually I do get to 1 and 7 eighths, actually just a shade larger. But in between, we do some measuring and just try to show you uh how I got there, it's at 1.92, it's still too long. Uh, that isn't real easy because the camera is upside down to me. So everything that you're seeing is upside down unless I flip it over. And at any rate, geographically, there are some issues with it. But we do get to 1.785 or 1.79 is where I ended up with this one. Close enough for government work and I think you'll see that it pen turns out really nice. So that's, um, that's what we're attempting to do here. Now once you've gotten down to the brass, take off some brass. You're going to be putting a spacer. There's an extra 47A gives you an extra spacer that you can put over the top of that brass tube so that you can check the um, diameter, the outside diameter of the top of your pen. That is a tight fit. So if you are don't take off any of the brass of the tube, your extra piece is going to go on the brass tube with some effort, and boy, it really takes effort to get it off the brass tube. So try to be a little bit, um, plan ahead a little bit here and, and take off some brass. Don't worry about it. You're not going to do any damage. Ultimately, you're just going to put your uh, center band over that anyway, and you're going to glue the center band in place, so everything's going to be um, reinforced without any problem. That's what happened there, and uh, then we'll move on to buffing it, and then there will be another um, video, which will be the assembly of the pen itself.